In this video, we're going to talk about knobology. What do all of the crazy buttons and knobs and things that you can twist and turn do on the ultrasound machine, and how do those affect your image quality? So the first thing that I want to talk about is the gain. So gain is basically the same thing as turning up the volume on your iPhone or your iPod. And when you turn up the volume too loud, you know that the sound starts to break apart and starts to distort and it doesn't sound very good. Well, the same thing can happen with ultrasound. So when you turn the gain up too high, you can start to have artifacts in your images and make things look like they're, uh, make things look like they're there when they're not really there, that kind of thing. And so uh, what gain does for grayscale ultrasound imaging is that it really just changes the brightness of the image. So you can see that for this particular image, it's too black, so the gain is actually set too low. However, if we look at this image, which is the same region and the same patient, you can actually see that they turn the gain up way too high. So you see, you might think that there is something in the carotid artery or maybe there's a clot filling in the jugular vein when really there's nothing uh, there. And so the high volume is creating artifacts. Each portion of the ultrasound image, whether it's the grayscale or the color Doppler, has its own gain that can be set independently. So this is an image of the carotid artery and you can see that the artery is running through right here, but we also see that there's all of this color Doppler signal posterior to the carotid artery and also within the near field here. All of this is noise because the color Doppler gain is turned up too high on this image. So for color Doppler, if you have the gain set too high, you'll see artifacts outside of blood vessels and too much too much color. If you have the color gain set too low, then you won't be able to even detect flow within a large blood vessel such as the carotid. When you add the complexity of pulse wave or spectral Doppler, um, then you add another additional gain. So uh, for this particular image, you can see that we have our grayscale image, it's got some color Doppler overlaid, and then down here you have the spectral waveform tracing. Well, each one of these different portions of the image comes with its own volume knob. And this actually is uh, the gain set pretty well here. You don't see very much background noise. Uh, it's nice and black, and you can see the spectral waveform. So uh, in pulse wave Doppler, if the gain is set too low, you won't be able to see the pulse wave. If the gain is set too high, then you'll have a lot of dark uh, you'll have a lot of noise in your background here. The other thing that's important to talk about with gain is what's called the time gain compensation, or TGC. And that's uh, this set of sliding knobs that you see over on the uh, right-hand side of this particular machine. What that is doing is it's actually allowing you to provide a refinement of the volume for each particular level of the image. So for this image, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sliders. So if you took this image and broke it down into eight zones, you could independently increase or decrease the gain within those lateral zones. And what this is doing in the ultrasound machine is it's actually applying gain specifically to echoes that take uh, a specific amount of time to return to the transducer. So the echoes from the near field will take a very short time, uh, a little bit longer for the next, a little bit longer for the next, a little bit longer for the next, and so on and so forth. So you can selectively apply more or less gain to echoes that return from different depths within the tissue. And that's called time gain compensation, or TGC. So for our first numbology video, we started talking about the gain, which is essentially the same as the volume on your iPhone or your iPod uh, for ultrasound. We talked about the 2D or grayscale gain. We talked about the color gain. We talked about pulse wave gain and what happens when those are set too high or set too low. We also talked about the time gain compensation that gives you smooth uh, 2D gain over your images. 